In this tutorial, I'll explain how to remove all white space in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data contains many planks, many white spaces. So let's assume that we want to remove all of these white spaces from our data set. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines six to eight. So in these lines of code, I'm using the sDataFrame function in combination with the apply function. And within the apply function, I'm specifying a user-defined function in which I'm using the gsub function. And within the gsub function, I'm specifying that I want to remove all spaces and I want to replace these spaces by an empty character. So if you run lines six to eight of the code, a new data frame is created, which is called data new one, as you can see at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this new data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have updated our data set because now the white spaces from our data set have been removed. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the functions of the basic installation of the R programming language to remove white space from a data set. However, it's also possible to apply the functions of the string R package to remove white space. And this is what I want to show in the second example, starting in line 11 of the code. So if we want to apply the functions of the string R package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the string R package, such as remove all, as you can see in line 14. And in line 14 of the code, I'm using a combination of the remove all function and the apply function. And within the apply function, I'm specifying that I want to remove blanks from our data. So if you run line 14 of the code, another data set is created at the top right, which is called data new two. And we can print this data set to the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that our new data set contains the same values as the first data set without planks. However, you can also see that the output of the stray remove all function is a matrix. So the difference between the first and the second example is that in the first example, we have returned a data frame and in the second example, we have returned a matrix. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.